class, we're going to talk today about the multiplying by 8 strategy or the double, double, double strategy for multiplying basic facts by 8. And it's probably my favorite strategy. And honestly, it's not a strategy that I ever like really thought of on my own until um, I started teaching uh, with the Bridges program. And, and when they introduced the double, double strategy um, into the curriculum, I was like, Okay, what, is, what does that mean? I had to really think about it. Um, and then when I did think about it, I was like, uh, oh, yeah, duh, that definitely works. Why did I think of that before? Um, so it's a really cool strategy, and uh, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. I think it makes some difficult facts really attainable and approachable and like, makes you feel empowered that you can um, be efficient and quick at, at solving things when you're when you multiply by 8. So let's jump in and talk about multiplying 6 times 8, usually a very difficult fact for kids to memorize. And so when we use the double, double, double strategy, we are actually thinking about the 8 as being the double, double, doubles thing, okay? So we're going to take the other factor, and we're actually going to double that factor, then double that, then double that one more time. And so when we write doubling out, like we just talked about, we're going to start with this factor of 6, and we're going to double it, and then we're going to double it again, and then we're going to double it again, because whenever you double something, you're just multiplying it by 2 or adding two groups of it. So if you just isolate the, the 2 times 2 times 2, what do you get when you um, multiply 2 times 2 times 2? Well, we know the basic fact 2 times 2 is 4, and when we multiply 4 times 2, we get the 8 from this, um, from this problem. So basically, we're just breaking down 8 into um, its uh, smaller factors, okay? And, and we know from the associative property that it does not matter how you multiply these numbers. You can start here and go 6 times 2, then multiply by 2, and then multiply by 2, or you can start here multiply by 2, then multiply by 2, then multiply by 2, or you can start here and multiply by 2, then you jump up here and multiply by 2. No. So order doesn't matter when you multiply, and that's the associative property of multiplication. So we are just going to keep doubling 6, and we're going to double it um, 3 different times. That's not the same as, as multiplying by 3, okay? So don't let that fool you. We are literally doubling um, what we get each time. So if I wanted to break this down into an array. I'm starting with a basic factor of 6, okay, and I'm doubling 6, and that means I have the 12 right here. But instead of just adding 6 over and over again, I'm going to double the 12 to get what? Well, it's going to be double the amount inside. What's 12 doubled? It's 24. And then I'm going to double one more time. But when I do that, I just missed that out, didn't I? I apologize. There's 12 inside of there, right? But together they make a 24. I apologize. Got to be uh, more precise today. Got to attend to that precision. So I doubled the 6 once to get 12, okay? Then I doubled the 12 again to get the 24. But now I've got to double this. So I'm going to actually have 24 over here. So that when I put the 24 and that 24 together, I get the 48. Now, visually drawing it out, you're probably thinking, that takes forever, Miss Lucas, but you are good with adding and doubling and all of that. So you are really thinking in terms of this numerically probably at this point. So 6 times 2 is 12, you double the 12, and you get 24, and double that 24, and you get that 48. 
So this is something that you can rapidly do in your head, and it's especially good if you're pretty good with your basic facts of addition and adding and joining numbers together and stuff like that. So um, just remember that you are doing this to the other factor that's not eight. That is something that you've got to remember and, and, and uh, not forget because if you are doing it to the eight, then you're just going to end up multiplying a times eight, which is going to be 64. So it, you got to double the other factor and then double that and then double that to uh, for it to work. So if we were going to look at this in another basic fact, let's do this more rapidly. Let's see here. Let's do four times eight. Or let's turn that around and do 8 times 4 because really multiplication of order doesn't matter. 8 times 4. Let's do this. There's one more for today. 8 times 4. That is like multiplying 4 times 2 times 2 times 2. Remember, we're going to double the other factor. And so we have 4 times 2 is 8. Then we have to multiply by 2 and multiply by 2 again. 8 times 2 is 16, but then we have to double the 16, and 16 plus 16 is 32. So, um, hopefully you get to a point where you can just do this fairly rapidly in your head, and when you see a problem like 8 times 4, you just think, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and then you are able to come up with 32 within, you know, 6 to 10 seconds. Um, that's a pretty efficient way of multiplying by 8. So, and that works for even larger numbers too. If you wanted to take something like 32 times 8, you could use the double, double, double strategy here and think of this as 32 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's see how fast Ms. Lucas can do this. So 32 doubled would be 64, then we have to double 64, so we can use that one, right? So 64 doubled would be, what, 128, use that one, so then we just have to double one more time, and 128 doubled would be, let's see here, oh my goodness, 240, 256. In the end. So this can be used with even multi-digit numbers, the, the double 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 strategy if you're multiplying any other factor by eight. And I just I think it's a really cool strategy to use that makes multiplying by eight a little less scary. And um, I just I think it's kind of fun to do. So um, I'll try to attach a picture of the uh, Bridges Strategies posters that show you this in like the um, hundreds grid form where you can see the array kind of like I had and you can see the colors and, and things like that because that really kind of brings it to life as well. So that's the multiplying by eight strategy, double, double, doubles.